Hey, what's going on, Fragrant family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you 10 perfect fragrances for an all year round experience. So if you want to see what these fragrances are, be sure and keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. That's right, we're doing top 10 videos, we're doing seasonal lists, we're doing interviews, giveaways, everything that encompasses fragrances. So if that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, be sure and hit the red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown this channel. So. Like I said, this is going to be 10 fragrances that I think are perfect for an all year round uh, type of environment. So meaning um, these are fragrances that you can wear pretty much year round if you live in a climate that stays relatively the same. Now, this actually came to me from one of you guys, one of my subscribers, Andrick. He is actually the one that won the Zaharoff giveaway. So uh, he said that, you know, he lives in California and doesn't really get too cold where he's at. So he wants something, you know, that's great for all year round doesn't really get you know super cold so I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do this bust this out um, it's been you know kind of a long time coming been really busy lately and uh, as you can tell haven't put out many videos I'll explain here in a second as to why but these are gonna be 10 fragrances that I think are perfect for the year-round type of environment so let's go ahead and get into this so first one on the list guys these are gonna be really no particular order uh, let's go ahead and bust this bad boy out so this one man this is one of my not newer fragrances but um, I haven't had it for I'd say maybe less than a year or so and I've loved this fragrance Fragrance. My wife loves this fragrance, and I think honestly, guys, if you're in a type of you know environment to where it stays pretty much relatively just warm all year round, maybe dips into you know the you know maybe mid 60s or so in the winter time, but doesn't get much colder than that. I think that Versace Eros is going to be the perfect fragrance for you now. The reason I say this, guys, there is a freshness to this that is just amazing. It's got this beautiful mint and lemon in the opening. There's some powdery quartz to this, but this stuff is absolutely monstrous in projection and longevity. This stuff is definitely going to get you noticed, and you're going to be getting a lot of compliments when you wear this. At least I do. I can only speak for myself, but Versace Eros, I think it definitely had to be on the list. All right, guys, so moving right along with the list. Before we get into the next fragrance, I do want to mention, like I said, I have been super busy lately, haven't been putting out videos like I wanted to. I do apologize, but kind of some cool news. Me and my best friend, we started our own business. We started a painting and power washing business. So getting that kind of up and running, getting everything bonded, licensed, insured, everything, it just takes a lot of time. We've actually had quite a few jobs from family and friends, and so that's been taking up the most of my time, been doing about 12 to 14. 14 hour days so I do apologize for that but I do plan on making videos still um, it just might be maybe like one or two videos a week so bear with me on that and uh, we'll go ahead and continue the video so next on the list this one man this is a cheapie I wanted to give you some niche some designer and some cheapies on here and this is one of my all-time favorite cheapies guys this is chrome united this stuff it just smells clean and fresh like there's not much more to this fragrance. It's just a really great fragrance. It does kind of bear resemblance to the original uh, Azaro Chrome. It kind of has that DNA tucked in there, but this is a lot fresher, a lot more fruity, a lot more mild, uh, if you will, than the Azaro Chrome. Now, the Azaro Chrome Super Light, this one does have I don't want to say a blue style fragrance tinge to it, but it kind of sort of does, kind of does give off a little bit of a shower gel vibe, but it's mainly just clean and fresh, refreshing. Chrome United, it's definitely good for all year round. All right, guys, so moving right along with the list. This one's for all my friends down in the southern part of the United States. I'm talking like southern Louisiana, southern Texas, uh, southern Arizona, places where, you know, it's, it doesn't really get cold. It just kind of stays hot or at least, you know, maybe in the 70s all year round, even into the winter time, it just doesn't really get cold. Every once in a while, you know, they'll, they'll grow wild hair and it'll get, you know, into the 40s or something like that. Well, I mean, honestly, Texas even had snow and kind of freezing rain last year so that was a little crazy very unusual but for the most part it just stays pretty hot maybe some uh you know pretty good humidity out there 
This one is gonna get you feeling cooled off, refreshed. You're gonna be smelling super great, super clean. This is Giorgio Armani. This is Armani Code Absolute. And man, this stuff, it is just absolutely amazing. I'm mesmerized by how much I love this stuff. I really haven't dabbled uh, into the, you know, Giorgio Armani uh, line really honestly at all. I don't know why, maybe I just feel like it was kind of played out. Everyone talks about it, but guys, they're hyped up for good reason. This one, it's super fresh, super clean, very fruity. You do kind of get that original, you know, aqua du jour, uh, aqua di Gio, however you want to say it, uh, you know, DNA tucked in there, but this one's a lot light, lighter and crisp crisp, a lot of fruit in here, and it's just really refreshing, guys. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, I got this for an absolute steal. This stuff retails for about $145, $150. Uh, I got this for $70 bucks on uh, Macy's deal of the day, so don't be afraid to uh, check out Macy's every now and then. They got some really good stuff on deal of the day. You can just type in Macy's deal of the day, and you can go through fragrances, and it'll tell you you know, what fragrances uh, they have. This one was, I think, like 45 almost 50% off, so literally Really crazy, crazy deal. Couldn't pass it up. Had to get it. But Aqua Di Jour, Aqua Di Gio, however you want to say it, um, absolute. Guys, this stuff is very good. It needs to be in your rotation. All right, guys, so moving right along with the list. This one's made quite a few of my videos, and honestly, I'd probably say a good seven out of 10 times. I always say that this one is a great all year round type of fragrance. I don't think there's really an occasion or a season that you couldn't find a use out of this one. It just, it smells great and it performs well, at least off my skin. And honestly, it's great for all year round, guys. This comes from the house of YSL or Yves Saint Laurent. What do you want to say? And this is the original Loam. Guys, I love this stuff. This stuff, Man, it's just clean, fresh, a little bit of powder uh, in there, uh, kind of brisk, but this stuff is made famous by the ginger note in here. The ginger in here is just absolutely amazing. Guys, this is one of my wife's all-time favorite fragrances, as well as mine. It's made, I don't know how many different people's videos, how many people's top 10 lists, how many, you know, top five even. This stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, great for all year round. The only time that you might stay away from it, I mean, maybe, even then, there's a bit of a refreshing factor to this, is if it's super hot and super humid, it might be just a little bit thick. There's some pepper notes in there that might just make it a little bit thick, but I wore this in the dead heat of summer when it's 90 degrees and I love it. It performs well. So Yves Saint Laurent Lome definitely had to be on the list. All right, guys, so moving right ahead with the list. Guys, I couldn't make a fragrance list about fragrances that are great for all year round without including the king. I mean, it doesn't really need any introduction, so I'm just gonna get right into it, guys. Creed's Aventus, what more can we say about this fragrance? It is amazing, I love it, most of us love it. There are some people who just really don't like it. I love this stuff. I have four bottles, um, actually five, including the um, 10th anniversary edition plus the Creed Aventus cologne. I love this stuff, guys. It's super amazing. I love pineapple, this is what it's all about. That fresh, tart, juicy, pineapple in the opening you do get some black currant in there there's jasmine rose vanilla uh, even some apple in there and depending on which batch you get it could be you know heavier or lighter that's what the batch variation is all about but this stuff is absolutely amazing uh, really famous for using the note of the ambergris in here that's kind of creeds uh, just traditional note they put in all their fragrances guys this stuff is absolutely amazing if you haven't got your nose on it i definitely recommend um you know sampling it it is really expensive and honestly creed's prices just continue to go up so i might honestly snag i don't know two or three more bottles of creed aventus and then just be done with it because i'm tired of them raising their prices but that's a different topic for a different day but creed's aventus definitely had to be on the list especially guys if you like more of those fruity uh fragrances where it just smells super fresh and clean creed aventus has got you covered all right, guys, so next on the list, this is a barbershop fragrance. So if you know me and you've been a part of my channel for any length of time, y'all know that, man, I love barbershop fragrances. There's just something about them that just captivate me. And there's just something about just having a man's man's type of fragrance in your collection. And I wanted to give you guys something, you know, that was barbershop and, you know, kind of had, you know, a man's man smell to it, but it also had a great modern twist to it. Uh, very fresh, clean and refreshing. So what fragrance am I talking about, guys? 
guys. This is from Mason Margiela. This is replicas at the barber. This stuff, man, it's a great barbershop fougere type of fragrance, but it does kind of have a little bit of a modern twist to it. Um, it does dry down pretty leathery, actually. Like, opens up, you get that beautiful, just, I want to say sharp, but it's kind of sharp lavender in here. So you get a lot of lavender, a lot of that uh, barbershop shaving foam type of smell in the opening. But as it dries down, it does kind of go more of like towards like a, a woody, musky, leathery type of barbershop fragrance. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I've worn this into work one time whenever I was working at at and And one of my coworkers loved this so much that she bought it on the spot from Sephora's website for her husband. She says, I want my husband smelling like this. This smells masculine. It smells fresh and clean. So guys, replicas at the barber from Mason Margiela. He's been on your list. All right, guys, so we are winding down the list, but next on this list, guys, this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. This one takes the record for the most bizarre yet I mean, slightly flattering compliment that I've ever gotten off any fragrance that I've worn. Um, you know, I'll comment down below if you want to know what the uh, you know compliment was. But this stuff is absolutely amazing, guys. This take this is kind of taken storm in the fragrance community, and for good reason. This is Prada Loam, guys. This one, I don't know why I was sleeping on this. Like I needed this in my collection back in 2016 when this came out. Oh my gosh, guys, this stuff is so good. So. This has kind of a slew of notes, guys, but the main thing you're gonna get out of here is this beautiful iris note in here. There is some sandalwood and amber, black pepper, geranium, uh, patchouli in here, um, but this stuff is just all about the iris. There's some violet in here too, which I'm not super, I guess honed in on my nose isn't really honed in on the violet but if i know it's there i can kind of pick it apart so it's not going to be like a huge you know player of this fragrance but guys you're going to get some cedar in here as well it is just an amazing sweet woody powdery iris style of fragrance guys this stuff is absolutely gorgeous um it's made several people's you know perfect office fragrance videos uh great you know uh, spring and fall time lineup videos this stuff is just absolutely amazing if you haven't got your nose on it go to your local sephora macy's dillard's any place that sells fragrances and i can almost guarantee that that will be there get your nose on it you'll thank me later all right, guys. So like I said, this video is all about fragrances that are great for an all year round style of, you know, a season. So if you don't get all four seasons where, you know, it mainly just stays kind of, you know, hot, maybe it cools down a little bit. But for the most part, the climate stays the same. This video is going to be for you. But this next fragrance, I'm going to say is great for anywhere in America, whether it gets super hot and super cold or whether it's, you know, like here in uh, Southern Missouri, where it gets super hot in the summertime and then super cold in the wintertime, this fragrance has got you covered guys what am i talking about i'm talking about parfum de marley and this is sedley this is the 2020 batch which is you know it does perform a little bit better so if you can snag a bottle that's a 2020 batch oh, man this stuff is just absolutely gorgeous so opens up really bright and fresh guys you got some lemon you get some mint patchouli you get mandarin orange and kind of the mid notes you get rosemary and lavender um and some other notes in there for kind of forget but in the dry down you get ambroxan you get amber cedar wood uh musk guys this stuff is just absolutely gorgeous literally gorgeous so it does kind of take maybe in the realm of a blue style fragrance uh, at least in the dry down it does get kind of woody and musky in there especially with the ambroxan but those citrus notes really kind of ride throughout the life of the fragrance so if you're not the biggest fan of the blue style fragrances like me i don't really you know kind of go for those very much but this one is absolutely gorgeous guys and whether it's super hot and humid you, you got that lemon you got the mandarin orange you got the mint to cool you down or whether it's a little bit you know kind of brisk kind of cold outside you got the amber cedar wood patchouli the musk and then broxin in there to kind of make you feel warm and cozy so parfums de marley sedley definitely had to be on the list all right, guys, so next on the list, this is a fragrance that I haven't talked about yet. Yep, that's right, guys. There's still stuff on those shelves that I haven't talked about. I got some tricks rolled up my sleeve still yet. So this one I'm really excited about, guys. It's actually becoming a really great time of year to wear this, as well as, you know, the spring and early summer. But have no fear, even if it doesn't get super, you know, fall-like where you're at, this one is going to get you covered. It's going to keep you smelling fresh and clean. What am I talking about, guys? I'm talking about Boss Bottled The Scent. Now, this one, it kind of made a buzz throughout the fragrance community whenever this first came out. 
Man, and for good reason, guys. This stuff is super delicious. Love this stuff. I do find it very interesting that there's no Apple Note in here. Uh, it does kind of pay homage to the original Boss Bottle number six, at least in my opinion. Just, you know, kind of a darker, you know, more leathery type of vibe to it. But this one has notes of ginger, uh, mandarin orange, and bergamot, as well as maninka lavender. So I'm not really sure what maninka is, but it does also have woody notes and leather in here. So it does kind of still smell at least in my opinion like the original boss bottle just minus that apple note just a little bit it does kind of take it there but it's just not quite as apple pie dessert like so it does have more of a fresher uh, kind of vibe to it so a little bit more fruity in the opening with that mandarin and the bergamot in there but it does dry down to some leather and woody notes in here and it's just absolutely gorgeous i love this stuff guys i need to honestly wear it more this is man really great stuff it performs really well. I love this stuff. My wife really likes it. So what's not to like, guys? Boss Bottle, the scent. If you haven't got your nose on it, go to, you know, Dillard's, Macy's, you know, Sephora, places like that. Get your nose on it. And I can guarantee you're going to like it. All right, guys, so we're at the last fragrance on the video. Thank you so much for watching this far. I do appreciate that. Now, I wanted to give you kind of a, you know, a cheapie to end with. So something that's gonna be under $25, depending on what size you get. And even if you get the four, uh, you know, the 3.4 ounce, it's only gonna be like maybe 27 bucks after tax. So you really can't go wrong, guys. Now, we all know I'm not the biggest, you know, uh, blue style fragrance lover, but this one, I cannot deny the greatness that is Amber Crombie and Fitch First Instinct Together Blue. My wife loves this. I've actually really grown to like this. This is a great all year round type of fragrance. Even if it does get a little bit cooler in the you know fall and winter months, if you get those, this one is still gonna get you covered because it does have that heavy embroxen in here. It's got some woody musky tones to it, but it's also very fresh in the opening. And honestly guys, it's kind of turned me on to the blue style fragrance. Now, I'm not saying that those are my favorite. I don't really still gravitate towards it, but this one has definitely opened my eyes. I guess just, I guess I should say my nose to the blue style fragrances. They're not my favorite by any means, but I'm kind of warming up to them because of this fragrance right here. This one, super great, super versatile, anytime, anywhere, any occasion, you can wear it just to go, you know, out to, you know, run some errands or you can dress it up, honestly. I feel it's great for date night. My wife loves this. I wear it on, you know, several date nights just because she likes it. So, hey, I'm going on a date to impress my wife. So why not wear something that she likes? But Amber Crombie uh, and Fitch, First Instinct Together Blue. I definitely think needs to be in your collection, in your rotation, guys. Guys, this stuff is for 25 bucks you really can't beat it all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video comment down below what you thought of the list if there's something in there that you didn't agree with let's talk about it if uh, you like the whole list let's talk about it if there was something that wasn't in there that thinks that you think should be in there comment down below and we'll talk about it guys um, that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching I'm gonna catch you guys next time and remember if you love it wear it